everybody. It's me, Mike, High Plains Design Studio. Um, before we get started, I'm going to go ahead and put it out there again. What I do, I do for Jesus Christ, uh, Lord and Savior. You know, a bunch of dumb people out there. And I don't think they realize why they're so dumb. And so I'm going to go ahead and start programming you. Programming and showing people how it's done because programming is real simple. And uh, I, it's real simple to do it all. And Jesus teaches me he's inside of me uh, go ahead and ask me on this you know whenever you want but I'm gonna go ahead continue on with my app and uh, so here it goes do, 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 do. what I was on last time if y'all notice I have my app let me go ahead and uh, hold on all right so here we go what I had is I have my app going and I have the little game going and I've got a sidebar and this component if you remember I can click on the different games and different games will appear and if you notice it is this is you know the water is the glasses friend and here's another one uh, it's a little slow obviously because I'm doing this trial mode laptop conspirators and then this first one that I forget what this one's called uh, something about painting extravaganza of grand nature but anyway so you'll notice that the iframe is just sitting there and it's kinda small and if I get out of this mobile view it also is still very small and the whole screen is pretty big and this is all messed up but if you notice this is all built in angular so the components are still really good so we're gonna start doing eight we're gonna do CSS and uh, we're gonna mess with the CSS and HTML and media queries we're gonna get a uh, bunch of media queries done and we're gonna make it look nice and mobile friendly um, and just to let everybody know in the meanwhile in the background I've got uh, Zymer tracks and see you know go ahead and uh, subscribe to these guys I don't really know who they are but uh, they've got a bunch of music that they let me use for free and they're pretty good uh, and so go ahead and then also go ahead and uh, subscribe to my channel High Plains Design Studio and watch in the future and watch as I continue programming and uh, making more and more cool things um, as I have more and more free time to do so okay so what are we doing here my game I'm gonna it's always best to design mobile first and then to go from mobile to big screens um, because mobile first mobile friendly that's Google likes that uh, search engines like that phones like that people like that computers like that everybody likes it so you can now make your computer you can now make your programs uh, responsive based off of screens uh, I could also do this for printing so we can like format printing but uh, I don't have anything for that for right now so we're just gonna mostly stick with screen uh, and uh, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna figure it out I'm gonna let you know right off the bat that my uh, my experience with programming is you know you know a bunch of stuff but you gotta always come back to the reference in your documentation so you're gonna see me pull out the documentation quite often uh, to remember how things work and get an idea and figure it out and uh, now I'm gonna get to designing I'm just gonna free design this normally it's better to probably come with like a, a whole little design document maybe with a wire layout but I don't got time for that ain't nobody got time for that so I'm just gonna be kind of figuring out off the top of my head so I know what I want right now is I want this little screen right here to be pretty much the whole screen and I want this I'm gonna ultimately hide this and put it into one of those um, kinda like buttons that you use to minimize you know like a little mini it's gonna be a menu button right here that you can expand and then that way it'll expand and so when you've got a small screen it will expand when you click on the button and that's when you'll see the menu uh, in the meantime the more the screen is gonna be pretty big so let's figure this out what I've done is I, I last video you notice I had bootstrap I took all that out so forget bootstrap uh, I am now on to straight up CSS standard CSS so I am doing media screen so let's go ahead and figure this out what was I doing uh, 
let's see. I put these in flex boxes. So if you notice, I put flex box, flex box, flex box. So I gotta figure out how flex boxes work. This division is in a flex box. So if we go to the game component, uh, game component, game div, bordered. I got this border just to show me a border around it because I'm using, I'm kind of using like thinking out of the idea of like cards and wireframes, and so I'm using the border to kind of show me the layout. So let's see, what am I going to do? I got to get this. Now that I've got this style CSS, I had the site body 100%. So there's the site body. And I'm also going to say height 100%. See what that looks like. Site 100%. Ooh, it goes all the way down to 360. So that kind of seems. Uh, so that means I gotta find out. Get screen width. Um, CSS screen width. So I'm not sure what I'm looking at. Screen width 320 by 480. Device pixel. Okay. So what am I looking for? I'm not entirely sure what I'm looking for. At media rule. Screen width. Actually, I'm looking for screen height. So let's see what these guys are saying. Once again, we go to Stack Overflow. I have a header element and a content element. I want the header to be a fixed height and the content to fill up the remaining height available on the screen. Uh, so is it possible without JavaScript? Specifying 100% on the HTML and body elements. Some parents look to the parents elements. So forget all the answers. 100 VH. So that's kind of what I'm looking at. 100 VH. Okay, CSS VH. I knew I remember something like that units CSS units VH and VW uh, so that's probably relative to 1% of the width of the viewport relative to 1% of the height so that's what I'm looking for these are these relative things V min and V max relative to 1% of the viewport smaller dimension and larger dimension so great. So what I'm looking at is 100 per 100. Okay, so it, this should be 100 V height. So let's see what that comes out with. Bam. That's kind of interesting. Um, so I noticed that that is the border of what I'm doing. So what I've got is my border on my header component. So if I go to my header CSS. If you notice I got this height uh, I don't need to get I'll get rid of the height for the time being and the width I probably I'm gonna leave at 25% you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of all of this for the site header for the time being I'll just do that and so now you'll see that that's what this looks like cool that's what we're working with I'm fine with that I kind of like that I'll get rid of this for right now uh, in fact, I'll get rid of that for right now. I don't need none of that. So, cool, cool. So now we'll see that there's that border doesn't go down. I don't go down too far. And I'm going to do this for mobile, obviously. So let's see what happens when I do this number. It does that. So I wonder if I can figure out some sort of land I know you can figure out landscape but I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna specifically design for this right now I think people will be smart enough to say hey I don't want to play this like that and then they'll turn their phone like this so now what are we gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, how do I show what I need to do is I need a uh, I need to go ahead and hide and show a button instead of this so I don't really know how to do that off of the top of my head uh, so let's go ahead and once again this is how we do it we go to Google it's just searching documentation what I'm gonna go ahead and do is CSS 
how to hide menu. CSS to hide menu. How to hide menu element with only CSS. So check this out. Let's see what these guys have to say. Once again, Stack Overflow. I'm not even logged in right now. Uh, let's log in with Google. Yeah. Uh, and this is, once again, my little... I don't really answer very many questions. Shh. Just read them. Uh, I have these menu elements I am trying to hide, but I cannot seem to only select the middle option called contact. I cannot edit the HTML directly, so I'm using CSS to override the style. Essentially, I just want to hide the item called contact from appearing. How do I select it using CSS? So let me see what these guys. You only have to replace that with equals. That's how CSS selectors. Nav, title, display. So what you kind of got to do is nav, a, title, display, none. Uh, so great. There are two methods of doing this. So targeting the list item to the end. So I, I got to remember how to little bit the CSS and their selectors um, it's a selector kind of deal uh, and I don't know if angular has selectors and I'm not gonna mess with that because that would be JavaScript and I don't want to mess with that so let's do all CSS you can also select the target with li with title attribute so so all this is is just like the attributes you put in the anchor title okay so I know how to write that I know what I'm doing right there so CSS attributes and then they also have look at this they have list item okay so CSS selectors can be pretty display none so what I'm gonna do is let me take a look at we're gonna start off with this HPDS arcade and we're gonna put in I'm gonna say I've got a, an H1 and a UL so I'm gonna say the UL I'm gonna say the H1 will be invisible when we're at this screen. So under 640 at the max height, we're going to make this invisible. So let's take a look at what I've got. All right. So what am I going here? Let's go to header component. And you'll see that I've got this H1 class called main heading. So now I'm going to go to the setting and I'm going to go ahead and easily put it as uh, CSS. It's a class. And uh, maybe I should just turn this into ID. ID equals main heading. There's no reason why I should have it as a class. Main heading. Oh, uh, and we're going to go ahead and do. Actually, first, what I got to do is a media query. So I got to go at media, and then you go uh, screen, and, and then you put it into max width and I think I'm going with 640 pixels right now 640 pixels alright so max width 640 pixels because that's what this is I'm designing for the Galaxy S5 apparently and I'm just gonna go down these lines and Galaxy S5 uh, then I'll probably go to iPhone 6 and, and that's how you do it you just kinda design for every single one but we're gonna go with 640 and at max width 640 we're gonna throw that in and now we're gonna go ahead and do that uh, main heading main heading is gonna do what are we gonna do main heading we're gonna do display and we're gonna do none uh, none I guess uh, display none so now the heading is gone you'll notice the heading is gone at this height but but we can take it out of it uh, no not like that we do this number and there it is you can see back to full screen it looks good it's back to normal let's go back we're back to it it disappears and uh, then we make it bigger I, I, I don't know, the next is bigger and it comes back. So you see, so that's how we do that. That's called responsive. That's the responsiveness, everybody. Made it disappear like a magician uh, in Pharaoh's court. That's what a, this body is acting like right now, apparently. Uh, let's keep going. Okay, um, hmm. So what did I want to do next? Now that I got that going, I got the little list here, and I kind of want to 
make that disappear too. In fact, so I might as well make this whole thing disappear. So, site header. I'll do display none. In fact, I'm gonna get rid of this site header and site heading and just call it site header none. That whole okay main header site header. Maybe I should call this. Yeah, call it site header, and I should call it. Sorry, you call. I don't know. I'm, I'm getting. This is the. I could. It's just more of a, a thought process on how to organize all this. So I'm gonna go and call this. Since I'm calling everything site header, I'll just go site header. This is site header. I kind of remember my logic. There, my logic is now that is gone, and you'll notice that just, just the screen is there. So which is cool. Cool, cool, cool. So. Let's see, do I have any kind of... Let's get rid of this bordered. Uh, I don't think I want the bordered anymore. I'm good with this border to kind of give me... No, I do need that border. Let's see, you keep going with the border. The border probably needs to get rid of... Let's go with one pixel. Make that even smaller. There you go. Get it out of my way. And Do I have some sort of... Let's see, I gotta have some sort of... I think I have some sort of... I'm making sure I don't have any... I can't even remember the, the words right now. Margin or padding anywhere, and I don't think so. Header CSS doesn't have anything. Uh, the game component CSS doesn't have... Okay, so it just has this game div. Okay, alright. Alright, so now that at this... I want this to be big, so uh, I do have the iframe is 100%. Uh, this game div, uh, I don't think I need that game div right now. CSS, border, I don't need any of this. Let me get screen at. Yeah, let's get rid of this for right now. I don't think I need that because I was designing for not mobile. So cool. So that already looks bigger for some reason. I don't know why that is. It's just the full screen. Uh, and so the, the iframe is 100%. And so now let's go to the game component HTML. So I got this game div. So let's go to the game div. It's the ID is the game div. Okay, so that's my that's my problem. So the iframe is going to be 100% no matter what because it needs to be 100% of the ID of what this is. That's all that is setting. The game frame is 100% uh, width and height uh, 100%. So now if you'll notice it just comes out as big as it comes out but that's as big as it's coming out. So now the game component, that yeah, game div, need to put a media query. Uh, let's go at media screen and and max width. Max width equals at 640 pixels. 640 pixels. What we're doing here is we're doing that game iframe. We're gonna do the width equals. Uh, what are we gonna do at? We're gonna do uh, 100 virtual width and height. 100 virtual width. I mean virtual height. And let's see what that does. I'm not entirely sure, but that's looking like. Damn! Look at that. That's coming out exactly what I'm looking for. So if you notice, it kind of does have a, a little up and down. So I don't know why that is happening. Um, so I wonder what that could possibly be. Max with 640, but that's the height reason. So 
So that's the virtual width. It's just that's just what it's doing. I don't know why. Let me see what it's doing right here. It's doing the exact same thing over here, which is kind of cool though. It's doing this number. But uh, and then let's let's keep going with uh, that goes something else. 6s. Let's go iPhone 5. iPhone kind of does it too. Cool, that's working pretty nicely for me, uh, as is. And so, yeah, that's already pretty mobile friendly as it is. I don't know why the height is going so high. Uh, it's kind of strange. I don't really know. Online, mid-tier mobile. I'll just go ahead and say that. That's fine for me. I like that. That looks fine to me. Uh, so that's that. Meanwhile, you'll notice that that, that things. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to put a. How do I? Let's see. Display. I need to get uh, some sort of font. I need to get. Uh, what's a cool icon font? Cool icon font. Icons. So now I need some icons. What's a cool place to get some cool icons? Uh, normally, cool free free icons. And so, free vector, flat icons. I knew there was the one. What is the one? Font Awesome. Font Awesome is the one that is usually gets used. Font Awesome Pro. Now, how am I going to use Font Awesome Pro? In fact, I could probably get Font Awesome as easy as doing it just like I did with, uh, with Bootstrap. So how do you install, I wonder if it's got a, let's see, get started, let's get started. They got a CDN using, using SAS or LAS, they got gem, bundle, import, they don't have an NPM, hmm, I wonder if they do got a SAS Ruby gem, and maybe it's because it needs to be, uh, let's see, NPM, font awesome, I haven't done this, so I don't know. Font Awesome is a full suite for version 4.70. What version are we on now? Version 4.70. Font Awesome. They got this right here. So it's as simple as in Font Awesome. And then, yeah, so let's see. Ruby uh, hacking on them. Before you can build the product, you must have the following installed. I got Ruby. Bundler. I'm sure I got all this because I know I've done this before. Uh, npm install so what is this guy doing npm install font awesome and let's see and so please read so I'll just install it save it let's see and then when I save it I'll pull it over and then what I'm looking for is you get started and then you get an icon and I'm gonna try to put in some sort of you want so you put in your icons. How do you do this now? Uh, somehow you gotta put in. Uh, I'm gonna be looking for bars. This is what I'll be looking for right here. F8 bars. So I'll need this number right here. All right. So let's take a look at what I can do and get started on doing that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press my little control tick. And I'm gonna do this number where it is npm install font awesome. So let's go npm install save font awesome. Okay, it's it's saving. saving all right and so what I'm gonna end up just like right here is I'll end up importing it Error. Okay, so I can't do it right there. I gotta 
Let's see, I gotta go CD. For some reason, sometimes this happens and I don't know why. Desktop. And what am I at? CD RPG. Arcade. App. Directory and CD Arcade. And what am I doing now? I'm going npm install save and we're doing font awesome. Let's see if this works or if it's gonna give me problems again. I don't know why this gave me problems. It should work just fine. I, I don't see why it wouldn't. Yeah, I didn't see what my last error was though. I, you gotta read through these errors and, I, and I'm just kinda assuming things should be working just fine, but technology never works like that. Hey, it worked like that. Um, so let's keep going. Now I go font awesome. Well, let's find out what this folder is because you're going to go to node modules and it's going to be somewhere down here font awesome font awesome and then let's see font awesome it's got CSS I guess it's just font awesome CSS font awesome font awesome CSS. And I think it's that simple. Let's see what happened. Failed to compile. Let's see. It could just be that it didn't update. Damn. Um, so what is it giving me? Some sort of. What is this error? Import loaders. Okay, so maybe I'm not importing this properly. Maybe I gotta put this little tilde sign. How's that? Little tilde sign fix it? Nope. Let's see if maybe if I take off the CSS. I forgot how I did this. And I gotta put it in my. How about that? That work? Invalid URL get data. I don't know what they're trying to say. So, source map. Okay, fonts less. Am I supposed to build it myself over here? see npm build I might have to build it myself over here uh, do, 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 do. keyword homepage name style version do not do they not have any scripts I don't see any scripts Dag nabby how did I do this I'm gonna have to cheat and go to desktop and I have to go back to where I had it last time RPG arcade app and I think I had done it over here this isn't the only one I've done it on so source and I think I did in style CSS maybe I'm using this import statement wrong maybe did I put an at sign in front of it maybe I don't need the at sign I might not need the at sign. And then I probably need this dot CSS. And then what should I not need that either? CSS import. Let's see. Why is this not opening it? There it is. Oh, this isn't the one I added it to. So where do what game what 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 app did I do that to? Oh, you know what? It's not this app that I use it on. It is the other app. It is the Twitter app that I use. So to do Twitter app, 
This one got the source file. This one has a styles file. This one I think I was using Bootstrap because I like the buttons. Um, Bootstrap's got a bunch of cool little things, but I don't need it for this particular ad. So import. Oh, I did use that. So that's the way I did it. That Bootstrap slash CSS Bootstrap at CSS. So add import. So this is not doing it properly for me. And let me see what else it could be. Is it that it's not in the package? Did you show up in the package? Font awesome. You got font awesome. So it should be doing it just right because I am doing import font awesome slash font awesome dot CSS. Um, but. I might be having problems with font. I, it's been a while since I've used Font Awesome, which is kind of lame because I, I really want to use that. I don't want to have to get these icons by themselves, and uh, I might have to though. Okay, so what am I doing? How am I going to figure this out? I need to also put that, and so that should be it because this is supposed to get from Node, and it's supposed to get Font Awesome. Oh, you know what? I forgot. That's me. That's my bad. I forgot to put the whole CSS. CSS font awesome dot CSS. See, maybe this will do it. Fail to compose. Oh, and now I, I must have misspelled it. So, yeah, there it is me misspelling things right there. Font awesome. There it is. Let's try that. Uh, are you going to load this time? Oh, and you know what? You can add global style. So now it is working. Uh, wait, no, it isn't. I forgot the add import. One more time. There it is. See, told you, figured it out. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Told him. It's uh, nothing's impossible with Jesus. Uh, he's within me. I don't know if you understand that, but um, so let's keep going. Uh, I need some water. What help in? So now let's respawn the whole thing. And why am I getting errors? Get data. Cool. And now, if you notice. Okay, so now I've got, apparently I've also got Font Awesome. I don't know what it looks like in here because it's got styles. So I think it's styles, you got a little, where was it? I know I'd seen it in here, post CSS, uh, source map, loader, CSS. I know I've seen it somewhere, maybe it's in the, here it is. No, no, uh, I know it's in here somewhere. There it is, Font Awesome. So great, now I got Font Awesome. So what I want to do is I want to get this Font Awesome in this little bar right here. So I don't know what that aria hidden equals true means, but I'm going to go ahead and put it to hide icons used purely for decorations. So what is aria hidden? I got to see what uh, aria hidden, what is... What's the difference between RHTML and RE hidden? I've seen seen the ARIA attribute. I don't know what the difference is either. So ARIA hidden and hidden attribute. Uh, ARIA accessible rich internet applications that defines a way to make web content and web applications more accessible to people with disabilities. Okay. The hidden attribute is new in HTML5 and tells browsers not to display the element. The aria hidden property tells screen readers if they should ignore the element. Have a look at the W3 docs for more details. Okay, so basically what that's telling me is that I need to have uh, aria hidden when I get bigger. But at this time I don't need the aria hidden. So that is something that I'll have to put into... Uh, JavaScript or or maybe I'll figure out a way to do it purely CSS um, because I could okay so now I got that coming in so what, what I got to do is on the header component is the header we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and put 
right after here, I'm going to put that button. Uh, I guess, let's see what happens when I do strictly like that. Copy. And just straight like that and see what happens to my... And is it even showing? Console elements. Let's see. I do not see it, but let's take a look. App header. Oh, you know what my problem is? Is I've got the whole thing hidden. So I don't want to put it like that. Uh, X. So, it is something that I might want to do main heading now. Instead of site header, should be main heading. Oh wait, no, look, look, that is the site header. So never mind. Site header. Just like normal. That's working, so what I gotta do is I gotta put it some out. Let's put it outside. That's, let's just put it outside of the header. So now you'll see it sitting there. So you'll also notice that suddenly, so what I need to do is make it to where it also does not, I also want them to be white. So how am I going to make them white? So how do I make them white? Let's see, web applications. Uh, let's see, what else can I do for web applications? That's the Maybe if they got a menu, maybe they got an M. Wow, there's so many icons to use. So what icon should I use? Navicon, that's the one I think I want to use. How do I change white? Looking for more? Check out the examples. I am looking for me. Basic icons. You can make them larger, uh, bordered, animated. Ooh, that's kind of cool. You can make spinning icons like that. Stacked icons, I don't want to do that. Bootstrap 3 examples, see, and I don't really need to do that. Custom CSS. Anything you can do with CSS font styles, you can do with font awesome. So that's interesting. Uh, inspired by, so, to do class, FA, button, button primary. So, what I'm trying to do is, I don't know what I'm trying to do, is I'm trying to make it turn white. Uh, invert, CSS invert colors. Invert color. I wonder if you can do that. For colors using CSS, David Washblog. Thanks, David Washblog. Who these guys are. Uh, I know I've come across him quite a bit. The CSS invert value is percentage based. 100% fully inverts the colors. Filter, invert. Filter, invert 100%. You can invert. Okay, so filter, invert. So let's go. Because what I want to do is I want to uh, position. Okay, let's see. So let's go back to this site header, and we're going to invert it. So go to styles, and I'm going to also say this compat right here, this class, FA, FA bars. I'm also going to say inverted. And so you'll say that it doesn't do anything, but then we go to styles. Let's see, we can actually just go to i class and we'll go to the, we'll do it right here inverted and i'm gonna put the queries up at the bottom at the bottom and i'm gonna put in fact i'm gonna say media queries i think i spelled that right so then what i'm gonna put right here is class inverted and we're gonna put that oh, that's not what we're doing. We're gonna have filter, and then what did it say? Filter. What is this number? Invert. Filter. Invert. One hundred percent. Filter. Invert. One hundred percent. So that should turn the black into white, and the white into black, right? And you kind of do see that up there, uh, where there's just a line there. So now. Now what I need to do is the CSS, um, I need a position. So CSS position, uh, let's go, I like the W3 schools, it's probably the better place. So what we're doing is we're going to do fixed, I think is what I need to do, static. 
are they're static by default, so that's why it's pushing it. So we're gonna do relative. Will be relative to. No, we're gonna do fixed or absolute. No, we're gonna do fixed. An element with is positioned. We're doing fixed. An element with position fixed is positioned relative to the viewport. So that's the viewport, which means it always stays in the same place, even if the page is scrolled. So what we need to do is go position fixed. So that's that inverted. So right here, site header. So we also need to fix this thing right here. Um, what is it? FA bars. Let's go ahead and do on the inverted and see what happens if we go position fixed. And I just want to make sure it does what I'm trying to get it to do in the first place. And that is what I'm trying to get it to do in the first place. So great. So you, you notice now. Uh, I don't think I also have something bordered that I don't need bordered. And so now that I see that, let's go to the other component, game component. See, I have this bordered class. I do not need that. Uh, no, I still do that. I need that on that game div. I, it's on the yeah. Never mind. I don't. I do need all that. But you can see now how I've got inverted CSS. Ooh, that's cool. And I've got this little menu button. So let's give that suddenly the inverted, and I'm gonna call this. Uh, I'm gonna call this uh, ID equals menu bars because that's what that was menu bars. So we're gonna change this uh, menu bars. I should do the same uh, mini bars menu bars okay does that not doing what I'm doing mini bars filter and position fixed but did that not do what I wanted it to do why did it not do what I wanted it? yeah there it is that's doing what I wanted it to do that is exactly what I wanted it to do so I could get rid of this inverted because I don't need that anymore. So I got the menu bars and what I'm going to go ahead and do is I got to go ahead and give it some margin. Margin uh, left. We'll give about five pixels. And then margin top. We also want to give about five pixels and let's see what that looks like see it's got some margin up there it's got a good little thing all right so how do I make this font awesome font a little I mean how do I make it a little bit bigger so I, let's get rid of that I don't need that font awesome example large icons fa large what is fa large fa two times fa three times let's go fa large Font awesome large, so that is a simple FA bars, FA large. And this will just supposedly it's supposed to make it bigger. That does not look bigger to me. Uh, maybe I did not spell it right. Could always be F A L G. That that's my bad. Again, so F A large is actually F L L G. So. Ooh, there he goes. That's what I'm looking for. That looks very nice, people. That looks very nice. Uh, even if you flip it, you can still see it up there. Um, and that's what I'm looking for so far. So now what I'm doing there, <coughs> now I need to... Let's see what happens when I get to bigness. Uh, and that, I guess, is with that... Well, that Arya hidden... Um, Maybe, is that even, is it there? Let's take a look. It could be that that's what that Aria Hidden is for. Uh, that it knows it's purely ornamental, maybe. And it goes away. Either that, or I am just, it's there, and I am not seeing it because of its inverted color. But I don't think it is there. Where is it? Is it there? I guess it isn't there. App game. Uh, iframe. I, I don't see it there. Header. I guess it's Arya hidden equals true. Oh, look, there it is. 
It's down here somewhere. But, uh, it says Arya hidden true. I don't know, maybe it is hidden. I just, uh, let me, let me get rid of this inverted color real quick and see what happens if I do this filter invert. And let's see if that shows it right there. Yeah, there it is. So it's still showing. So I gotta figure out how to make that hidden, but I'll do that later. So that Aria hidden doesn't do what I thought it did. But whatever, uh, it doesn't hide it automatically. That's not that big of a deal. I'll just get it there when I get there. Meanwhile, let's respawn that. got that going and I've got this in mobile all right so what comes next what am I gonna try to do next next I'm gonna I want to click on a, on this button and make that list come back so let's see CSS click on menu to open lid so check it out how to create a drop down menu with CSS and JavaScript, but I don't. How to only CSS only drop down menu by click. So, right here, what does this guy got going on? A uh, drop down parent. So, I'm do, looking for something like this to make something like that. How's he got this? See, it's similar. Font family, let's see what kind of stuff. Cursor, pointer, okay. Ooh, so check it out. You can get your cursor pointer over here um, border but let's see and how are you doing transitions so it's got some transitions that you can get right here uh, all right so what is this transition delays demo position absolute what is the difference between I did fixed I wonder what absolute was. Let's go CSS absolute. Absolute position. Absolute position. How does this work? To do a position relative to the nearest position to ancestor instead of position relative to the viewport like fixed. However, for an absolute position, elephant has no position ancestors. Uses the document body. And instead of, okay. Relative to the nearest position ancestor. Position border. Uh, I don't get the. Let's see. An element is positioned relative to the nearest positioned ancestor. Oh, so it's. Uh, it's kind of. I got you. It's something like that. Position sticky. That's kind of. That's. Oh, so that's how you get them stickies. Cool, I need to just do that. That's what I'm trying to get into eventually. There's a bunch of new stuff since I first started um, that I haven't really gone into um, because I don't really do this part. Uh, the programming is what I'm... But cool, anyway, I got this. I got this little concept. This is not what I'm looking for, though. Um, a pure CSS on click menu. So let's see what Kevin Kivitz over here says. Uh, and you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and let's see. Normally, I, I should be tweeting these. Sometimes I like to tweet these as I come across them. So I'm gonna start doing that from now on. I haven't been keeping up with that. Uh, just retweeting people's stuff as I come across them. Uh, we've all seen. So, ooh, cool. That's kind of cool. That's what I'm talking about. Getting started is pretty simple. We'll just swap out hover for focus. Oh, okay, so we need to do the, these uh, these things. So CSS menu position. So you go before uh, CSS. Okay, so I need to find out. That's what they're called. The events or pseudo class. Their pseudo classes are. What are pseudo classes? Pseudo class, anchor pseudo class, a link, okay, pseudo element, 
pseudo element so first line okay so I think what I'm looking for is attribute selectors no I've used attribute selectors that's not what that I'm looking for so this is drop downs drop down what is this drop downs oh cool uh, position drop down display inline block this is some so wow this is quite you know like I said um, it's always always more things to learn always that's what that's what the world is about that's what God put us here for learning and figuring out things just constantly figuring things out um, and so now I've got to figure out because I don't off you know I come across them whenever we come across them and I need to figure out how to make a menu bar and I have never really done that on my own without using some sort of <laughs> JavaScript or using some sort of plugin. There's so many of them out there. But I'm going to figure this out with using just the straight HTML and CSS. So you need to do uh, events, maybe. I think they want to, they're probably events. It's got to be uh, a line, navigation, draw. No, it's got to be, I don't think it's attribute selectors. A target, attribute equals values. So titles so these are selectors so that's a selector uh, responsive examples images grid view references selectors functions CSS function reference so the CSS column returns a value okay that's kind of something else uh, CSS reference RL website in the anima table uh, let's see what this anima table is in animations and transitions so this is kind of looking for maybe animate the background color from red to blue Let's see what you do that's kind of interesting um, but that's not what I'm looking for properties background so this guy he had let me get going with this let's see so so getting started is pretty simple you got the class on click menu we'll just swap out hover for focus so first we'll need some basic so you know what that's what I can find out with these kind of let's go console now we're going to elements and then you go to computed now you go to styles you go to dom listeners maybe to do uh, properties HTML element so children focus so so I wonder what the CSS. E I thought there were CSS events. Yeah, there's got to be CML event attribute, HTML event attributes. So on error. Okay, so on focus. So that's what this is. Focus fires the moment when the element gets focus. So click. So this is what this guy is saying. Uh, on click. So on click menu, so on class on click menu. Let's just find out. On click menu, position relative, position on click menu before content click me. So it says click me. What does that mean? Uh, what does that mean? On menu before, CSS before, before, before. So CSS before. Let's see what that is. So that's a before selector. Uh, before. So so browsers also okay. So you should be using before. So this guy over here is using almost. That's what that is before. So before is the selector before. So he's got some sort of okay. So his on click menu, uh, on click menu before. Notice the tab. Okay, then we just need to get some. All right, and that's without a single line of JavaScript. So and then here's our resulting menu. Making it click. You may notice that none of the click handlers actually work. That's because the menu disappears as soon as it loses focus. So that is on click, focus, display, block. On menu, click. So what is this? On menu, on click menu content. 
unclick menu content display none unclick so unclick menu unclick menu content display block so that's what so okay CSS space space selector space in selectors it means that 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 the part of the selector that occurs right of the space is within a child of the part of the selector to the left so that's what that means it, this doesn't apply to your second example okay so the selector so this particular dude selector let me break this down because that's my problem is I'm trying to figure out what his selector is doing this particular selector is saying the you're selecting the on click menu when it has on when it has focus that's this on click menu when it has focus you're selecting the on click menu content and you're displaying it on block okay cool so so that's what he's kind of that's crazy so on click menu when he's got alright on click menu he's got a position relative that's my my just like my position that's my my menu right there so then I've got he's got what does he got he's got the menu slash before so this before selector what does this do creates a pseudo element that is the first child of the selected element it is often used to add oh so I'm creating a pseudo element that's interesting so so what he's doing is he's creating a pseudo element there before this on click menu content click me and he's counting it click me content and content okay so let's go with CSS content CSS pseudo element content CSS pseudo element content the content property is used with the before and the after pseudo elements to generate content in an element great I get that now uh, objects into okay so content and that's cool because that's where I'm gonna actually put in uh, is used within the before and after and objects are anonymous replaced elements so what does that mean well let's see what happens if I if I let's see objects inserted using the content property are anonymous replaced elements Cool is an outside of scope and replaced elements. So I'm replace typical replaced elements are. Let's try. It. Let's see what happens. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get this. Uh, all right, menu bars. All right, I don't even know how I've got this set up, but let's find out how I've got this set up. I've got this site header. And I've got this, I can probably get rid of, well, I'm going to leave this for right now, get, put that into comments. And I think this video is probably already time for me to be over. No, I'm going to keep going. I, I just keep programming. I'll keep going live. I don't really care. Um, it's a long video. It'll be good for me for later. Um, let's see. So I've got all this stuff. I've got the site header. The site header so what I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna do a brand new I'm gonna do it let's see site header all right so see this is what I'm trying to get at. I gotta kind of fix this so and it's all gonna be at the small okay so no never mind it'll be at the small uh, CSS where's my CSS header company so here's what this is supply site header that works and menu bars uh, all right, so this is the menu bars inverted, and now I don't need that because they're not even there. But let's see. All right, I'm gonna get rid of that, and so we're gonna go with site header, and we're gonna do display none, which is what I've got. So instead, I'm gonna create a pseudo element before. So now I'm going to display that none, right? And then what I'm going to go ahead and do, well, I'm going to go ahead and get that site header colon before.
four. Right? Is that what I what this guy kind of did over here? Let me see. He goes uh, on click menu. That's my side header. On click menu before, and he gives it a content. So before, and he goes content. Content. This is some content. I'm just gonna put that right there for right now. Let's see what that looks like. I don't see that this is kind. Oh, but it could also be that content is written in let's go ahead and put that content now over here we're gonna do this IID I don't even know what that IID so well let's go ahead and put this so I don't think that's quite doing what I wanted it to do either so um So, what is it doing? I have header. It, it's hiding all that. Display, but it's see, like if you go computed styles, uh, where is this header? Display none. So you'll see that. But I should also have element dot style so this should be element dot style well I guess now um, that might not be what I need so let's go ahead and let's just put this back and let's see what happens now so now we got that so that I, I guess I don't really need that so I don't need that portion because he just has something else there and so what I'm gonna do instead now is follow the rest and see what he's got going on right over here where he's got on click menu so now he's got the on click menu focus on click menu content display block so now let's go ahead and see I guess that's the kind of thing uh, focus space that's gonna say it's a child uh, and so so I don't think I need it. Okay, okay, all right. So then that's gonna be something else. So now that I've got this, I'm gonna say then this is on focus. I'm gonna choose the header before it. So choose, uh, choose uh, CSS, choose previous sibling because that's what I'm going to need to choose if you think about it I'm going to need to choose this previous sibling so is there a previous sibling? Uh, let's see what that means no there is no on a related note is for general successor sibling meaning the element comes after this one but not necessarily immediately after okay so uh, for previous add selector for previous Okay, it could be add selector for previous element plus selector for previous child. Okay, let me see. Div, div, div. Uh, so these are just people saying. So what I'm gonna do uh, is just like what they're saying. So previous sibling. So you're gonna have to do it afterwards. So I'm gonna have to do this beforehand. X and put this up above here. And so then I'm gonna put that right there. And so then we're gonna just say, uh, now we're gonna go ahead and do that concept where the selector becomes when menu bars, ID menu bars, ID menu bars focused. Uh, and how do we do that focused? Uh, how did he do his little focus over here? Just uh, let's go CSS CSS hash focus focus selector. What does that mean? Yeah, that's a focus selector. All right, so focus selector. 
menu bars, focus, and then you're just gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and say plus, and I think the plus because it's gonna be plus site, uh, plus site header. So now, what did he do over here? He did focus, display, display, and I'll just say display. What is the CSS display? CSS display. What is this? CSS display. See, so you notice, uh, I just really just know. I remember all these. I remember them because I've studied them, and uh, then you just kind of got to remember how and how often you use them. We're gonna go ahead and display none initial to its default property. <coughs> so what does that mean? I guess we'll just go inline block. Inside of this block is yeah, I'll just go inline block. Uh, display block as a block element. Display inline display value displays an inline element display like span display. Set the property to its initial value. Uh, let's go to initial, display initial. So let's see what that does. And now I don't know if that's showing or not because let's see, because if you think about it, I gotta take a look. That that writing could all be in white so I need to change the menu bars I need to set site header so I need to change all this text so a header so site header should be font color how do I change the font color again in CSS change font color CSS text color property color so we just change the color it's that simple so We'll go to site header and we'll go site header and right here at the we'll go color white. So I press the button and let's see it's I, I thought I have it focused, so let's So this guy, when he did his, what do you do? You clicked it and it just click, 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 click. So that's kind of interesting. So how does he do that? On click menu content. Oh, so he does the on focus, the on click menu content. I might need to make my own menu for this. I got you. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, display none, display block. Let's go ahead and display block. Okay, because let's see, focus on click menu. So let's see what this does. So what if we did this number and we did that, like that guy was saying. Let's see what happened when I did that. Yeah, this is getting boring on the live. Um, I don't think this is working out. So I'm going to have to do a lot more studying, a lot more playing out with this. Anyway, I think I've done quite a bit of the HTML, CNS. I've been doing messing with CSS. All I got was this button. Got some fun, awesome. So there's a lot of work involved when you do this kind of stuff, especially if you're not a designer. I'm not a designer. I'm a programmer, and the programmer comes a little bit quicker. This design stuff, I, I, I'm, I, don't, I haven't worked with it in a very long time. I only learned it and know it. Um, I got to constantly refer to it and figure out how to make this little menu button because I'm building this from, this, from the bottom up. 
not using any kind of plugins, nothing. So I'm going to figure this out. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye. Go ahead and uh, subscribe for more tech work from High Plains Design Studio. Um, go ahead and ask any questions you may want, whatever you may want tutorials of in the future. I'm just going to keep doing this live stuff until I get more comfortable. Uh, I'm actually working on this in particular. I need to get this out pretty soon, so I need to maybe uh, work on it over time, and I might not be completely uh, live streaming it because I'm talking a lot as I'm live streaming and not focusing as much as I, I feel like I could be. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye. Uh, uh, praise Jesus. Don't forget that. I know I don't slip that in uh, that much. It's like a subliminal thing uh, because that's how I'm doing it right now. It's all subliminal because uh, that's, how, that's how it goes. That's, anyway, uh, so yeah, subscribe. Uh, bye.